Just this week, we've seen several prominent Democrats targeting business, big business. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez went after Amazon. Bernie Sanders launched his Stop Walmart Act. Maxine Waters says she'll go after the banks. Tammy Bruce is with us, Fox News contributor. Welcome back, Tammy. Good hey, to see you. Great to be here. Happy Friday. Uh, what do you make of this? I mean, this really is a full frontal attack on anything like big business. It is. And look, it's a lot of posturing. Uh, I think Elizabeth Warren is making some very good points. Uh, the leverage loans are up to now $1.1 trillion. Hold on a second. I, I'm getting yes. to because it, yes, yes. Elizabeth, Senator Warren said that the banks are blowing a hole in That's the right. economy she's worried. Again. Yes, she's seeing the same trend, she argues, that happened in 2007 and 8, And she's worried that there's not enough oversight. So her action has been with Mnuchin and with, with the Fed saying, what are you doing? Are you watching this? She's asking those questions, which have to be asked because the leverage loans are coming back. And she's concerned about that. I think that's that's reasonable. The American people should be concerned. We don't want the same thing to happen. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, with uh, Bernie Sanders, uh, this is all posturing, but his positions regarding minimum wage for Walmart, it's not just stop Walmart. It would affect uh, what he's proposing would affect every company with over 500 employees. Uh, it is, effectively, it tells them that you can't uh, 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 you know, rebuy your stocks if you don't give your employees a certain wage, sure. if you don't give them certain things that we think are appropriate. Now, in the short term, I suppose, for existing employees, that would be great. But what that does is it kills the hiring of new employees. And then you're going sure. to stop the reinvestment in a company, which, of course, is what allows it to employ people and even expand. Walmart employs, I, what, I think, about 2.1 million people. There's a reason they're able to do that, because they're successful. We want that to continue. But this is, again, the suggestion that the government is going to tell you. And the, the government of all places, look at the last, uh, well, eight years under Obama, destroyed the economy, destroyed jobs. And they're also now with the Trump economy, people, if you don't like where you're working, you have alternatives. The worker is now the value. And so companies are competing for you. Under the socialist system, there is no competition, right. so the government has to de well, declare the, what the you have to pay. There's a difference. I mean, the, the socialists want to legislate wages yes. and tell businesses how you can use your capital. Correct. They want to control. Capitalists have the opposite point of view. Yes. And of course, as we've seen under Obama, it, it creates a, a boot on business and the ability to make a living. You become a part time nation. The problem with Alexandria Ocasio Cortez is the same issue. She's complaining about Amazon getting subsidies, right, from like New York City, uh, and she should complain. But it's the contrary of what she herself has been advocating for. For every job that Amazon will create in New York, New York taxpayers are paying $48,000 for every job. Yeah. And yet in Virginia, the same number of jobs are costing Virginians $22,000 uh, per worker. All of that's still too much. But, but uh, Ms. Cortez is arguing, though, for also she campaigned on uh, jobs for everyone, free college, Medicare for everyone, the same dynamic. She doesn't like taxpayer money going in to fund people's lives, uh, that, but that's what she's arguing for. Tammy Bruce, thank you very much.